Hey, what's up, guys? Um, tutorial on Photoshop I'm bringing you today. Um, I thought it'd be appropriate to use a picture of a shark since it's Shark Week. So, um, that'd be cool, I thought. So, uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to um, blur the edges uh, of any picture you want. Any picture you want, really. Um, so first, you bring in your picture. I brought in a picture of a great white shark feeding in South Africa. Um, I found this right off Google. You can bring in any picture you want. Um, so what you want to do is you want to come down here to your layers and double click it and hit enter if it's locked. And now what you do is you have your picture. Now if you want to make any changes to it before doing the, this next step, I suggest you do so. Um, I, what I'm going to do is just add a, a little saturation to it. Just like, just maybe like that. That looks good. Alright, so now uh, what you guys want to do is you want to highlight both layers. Um, highlighting either one layer, you want to hold shift and click the other one. You want to hit command E or control E if you're on a PC. This will uh, merge all the layers. And now you're going to want to go to Layer, Smart Objects, Convert to Smart Object. And as you can see down here, you have a little icon in the bottom right hand corner of your picture of the little thumbnail. And um, now what you're going to want to do is you want to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And th now you'll see your image start to blur. And now you can change um, you can change how much you want it, uh, how less. Um, I'm going to go with right there. Mm, right there. Okay, that's good. And hit OK. Now you see down here in the corner in your layers uh, palette, um, you, you see your smart object, and then you see your filter, and then you see the Gaussian blur. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click the filter thumbnail, where it says smart filter. And now what you're going to want to do is make sure that's highlighted. Go to your brush and go to one of the presets. Um, about, um, I'm not clicked on the right thing. Now, if you're clicked on, you see four little, um, four little outlines around the corners of the thumbnail. That's good. That's what you want. And now you see you have your brush your brush sizes so you're gonna wanna find a decently size depending on your image a decent size I'm gonna use about this so use about 400 for this picture um, and you're gonna wanna turn the hardness down to about 50 and what you're gonna wanna do is now just basically just click and drag and that'll you can start you start to see how um it's starting to blur the edges it's like you're basically erasing the blur is what you're is what you're basically doing and now if if it's still too rough for you um what you can do is uh you can go back and you can go up to your brush and turn the hardness all the way down which will give it a smooth look just like this So I'm, I'm gonna blur everything but the main, the main picture. And you know it doesn't matter. You can do uh, you can do whatever you want. So as you can see, the edges are blurred, and everything else is not. Um, so you're basically erasing the Gaussian blur. So what you guys have to remember is make sure you uh, merge all your layers and then convert it to a smart object. And now this, you can you can um, you can do anything. Uh, you can make this any filter. As you just saw, I just I deleted it. Now you can go up to uh, filter um, neon glow. Okay, and now this will give it a neon. It will your uh, filters uh, thing will come up, and you'll see the neon glow. So give it hit OK. So 
supply and clean. Now you have neon glow. Now what you can do is you can go to your brush. Oh, make sure you select it on the and what you can do is what I told you. Basically just erase the neon glow. It won't erase it, it won't go back to normal, but it'll take it away. As you can see the, the water is starting to go back. To just erase it. It doesn't go back to normal, but it goes pretty close. And that's how you uh, blur edges and blur anything. Thanks, guys.